not too much ride. Hey guys, Drew here from Red Fox Films, and welcome back to another video. I haven't uploaded in a while, and that's because I've actually been on the farm in the past week, or maybe even over a week, and I haven't really had on to make any videos except for that one really quick video announcing I was on the farm, and all the sneak peeks of future videos that aren't even coming till next week. Um, I've been really busy recently, uh, so I haven't really had time to do any of this. I have a couple big videos pops possibly coming out. I'm not 100% sure if, I even, if I'm even going to record them. But I just have a couple videos to get out. So here we are in the field spraying barley that is in our corn. It's actually a corn crop, but there's barley in it, and we don't want that barley in it because when we uh, flew on our cover crops, there was contaminated seed in it and that caused all this barley to get in it and then we have a giant mess pain in the butt to deal with um, as of the time I'm recording this the barley is has been confirmed to be killed uh, which is exactly what we wanted so we don't have to deal with all that barley anymore even though it just still makes the field a lot uglier than it should be um, the corn's about twice as tall as it was in this video um, because I recorded this video pretty much about, about oh, two weeks ago. So, sorry about that, guys. Um, and, yeah, so the tractor we have here, you've probably already seen it in a whole bunch of other videos. It's our main larger tractor, the Massey Ferguson 2675. We do have a Massey Ferguson 290, but we usually use that for smaller work involving hay and that general kind of work. So, we use our 2675 for most of our work on this farm, and yeah, so the sprayer, you guys are probably wondering what the heck that thing is, because you probably haven't ever seen something like that, even if you have. Uh, it's actually a home-built one, based off of a whole bunch of other sprayer parts. It's 30 feet wide, I'm pretty sure, not 100%, but I'm pretty sure it's 30 feet wide, maybe less, I don't know. Um... It's also basically built off of a whole bunch of other sprayer parts and all sorts of stuff, basically making it perfect for our needs. Uh, we are going to have a different sprayer coming in soon, hopefully in my next video. Uh, I mean, after all th these three parts in my next planting video. Hint, hint. Um, this video has taken a while to edit and get put together. So I have to have a whole bunch of GoPro shots and all these other shots, and it's just, it's just been a mess to work with. And yeah, so like I said, we're spraying barley on our, that's in our corn, and we don't want that barley to be there. It's been killed now. We are spraying also that grass that you're seeing right there. Cause we also kind of don't want grass in our fields because grass is bad when it's not where it's supposed to be. I don't know what I just said. You get my point. Um, so I'm gonna go now, and we're gonna go straight into the tractor here, because I have some nice inside to view, and you even get to hear my pal Paul talk again. Um, he's gonna be providing a lot more information. I'll see you guys right there. Goodbye. Yeah, they both read about 30. 